Well, we could say that with all the philosophies on the planet, and all the spiritualities and all the religions, there's so many. We were talking about that in the service today. And for me, as I studied many, 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 I found out that there was a distinction. One was what I would call non-dualism, like Advaita Vedanta. Advaita, it means not to. Um, that's a, Vedanta is a deep Indian tradition, and there's, there's non-dualistic Chinese paths that go back centuries. And of course, in Miracles is a non-dualistic path. And basically, any kind of non-dualistic path teaches that Basically, love is all there is. Um, it just teaches pure oneness with no opposites. So, what I teach uh, from the Course and from many wonderful non-dualistic traditions is that God is one. Um, kind of like at the service today, so there are many paths, but God is one. And the one is what reality is. It's what heaven is, you can call it nirvana, bliss, any unified, uh, spirit, anything you want. And then dualistic teachings teach more the yin and the yang, they teach that there are two. Kind of like the yin and yang symbol, as some of you have seen and so forth. And th those are very, very different teachings in the sense that a lot of the non-dual teachings will call this world of linear time and space maya, or illusion. And the definition of illusion is not real. And so, God being perfect oneness creates perfect oneness. It, it creates and radiates and extends that oneness. And we don't, in this world, we don't get, you know, apples from orange trees or pears from apple trees. Like, the, like fruit comes from like trees. And even in the Bible, in Genesis, it said um, that God created man in his likeness and image. And in the Course of Miracles it's clarified that, that, that likeness is of the same essence, like spirit. God created man as spirit, and in, a, in, a, in this image is more, the same image is more of a sense of, of like, like God. So we could say in the essence mankind is a spiritual creation. And these bodies, and all the separation that we seem to experience, is part of the maya, or the illusion. And that which is eternal, creates the eternal, so we often talk about Christ, not, not Jesus the man, but Christ the idea, um, as an eternal idea that lives perfectly in the mind of God. But Christ is spiritual, it's pure spirit. So, as I've delved into this very deeply in my life, I've realized that all of the perennial wisdoms, whether it's Eckhart Tolle, and you could go through a lot of the traditions, they talk about the present moment, living in the present, being fully present. And some even say that the present moment is the gateway to eternity. Uh, in the Course in Miracles, Jesus says that the present moment is the closest approximation to eternity that this world offers. You know, even when you're a child and you're just in glee and joy and you forget everything, you're just playing and you're having so much fun, you're so fully present that you don't even think about the future or the past. You, you just are completely in that blissful moment. So what I've discovered is that all thoughts of the future and all thoughts of the past, and we could say the construct of linear time, was made as a, as a cover or a denial over eternity to convince the mind that it was bound by time and space. And we believe the human body, it, it's the, the person seems to be part of that time-space fabric. Just like the stars and black holes and quasars and everything else, there's coordinates. Where are you located? But it, eternity has no location to it. And I have found that, that really staying in peace really is a mind training, a meditation of staying so fully present that you are not distracted by any thought of the past or any thought of the future. Very much like Buddha talked about emptying the mind of the contents of consciousness or uh, more recently um, Vipassana is a beautiful uh, 
a pathway to enlightenment. It involves going into the stillness. So, yeah, that's pretty radical in the sense that it's, you know, uh, the Bible, Genesis says, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. And I've been doing these teachings for the last 25 years all over the world in 31 countries, and, and I said, well, it, the heavens part is right, at least. God, God created the heavens, which is, I'm talking about the celestial skies and stars, but, but eternity. God is the creator of eternity. And the ego projected linear time. And that as soon as we can train our minds to come back to a holistic perception of the world, which I call simultaneous time, you've heard of parallel universes and parallel lives, it's all happening simultaneously, but when we string it together into past, present, future, that's where our guilt comes in. We feel guilty over things that we did wrong, and we feel afraid that we may have to face some of those same scenarios and consequences again in the future, and that's where worry comes in. Worry and concern is always projected into the future, and guilt and shame are always associated with the past. So it's, for me, it's been a, a journey to consistent peace of mind, and to me this is just fact because my mind is consistently peaceful. I don't have a bad day. I don't have anything coming up anymore. I have, I have no guilt or shame. I go all over the world and really just shine the light of this presence, and then people will come, like this gentleman in China who was going through all this guilt around sexuality, and I would just join with him in, in a healing presence, and, and he joins with me in this gateway, or portal you might say, of the present moment, and then his guilt and shame start to recede and go away, and he undergoes a healing. To me, that's, that's the dynamics of it. It really is letting go of the, the future and the past. It's, a, it's an experience for me, it's not really a theology though. I know some people say, I like dualistic, and I like non-dualistic. But for me, it's, it's all about the experience of the heart, you know, having an actual experience of, of peace of mind.